a team does not win the first two. That is true. This could potentially Check. be three. Can y'all hear me over there? All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the championship match of the Bill Cup 2013. Tonight, we are playing best of three 20-minute rounds. So if you find teams split the first and second rounds, we're going to do a third to determine the winner. Roll like normal, take five-minute half times between these rounds so you can make subs, talk strategy, stuff like that. If the way you win this match is by whoever has the most full cap outs of this match when the 20 minute timer ends. If cap outs are tied, whoever controls the center point will win that match. Remember, if you need to make substitutions during the match, the person leaving must be out of the server before the person coming in connects. Now go. Any questions from either team? All right, Inner's telling me that time has no questions. Checkmate, y'all have any questions over there for Geo? All right, I'll give y'all just a couple minutes here to, to finalize any further discussion, and then when you're ready, go ahead and switch your status to ready. We'll get this championship underway. Good luck and have fun, everybody. As Flash says, good luck and have fun. This is for all the marbles. This is going to be an amazing match. Yeah, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Um, there's so many good players up and down on these guys. A lot of people are players who are fun to watch. You're going to see probably the two deadliest players in all of the cup in Wedge and Unforgiven, who uh, playing pick classes have just Three, taken apart teams two, at times. Ready up, they are gnawing at the bit. They are just said. Heck with preparation time. We want to kill each other. <laughs> we I, I, are think they, I think they got lots of practice time in. They're ready to go. That they are. This is for the gold medal. Group of drunks and Team Innards meet explosion. You see, GUD's taking the whole team through Big Door except for two players. GUD moving as one gigantic unit. And like you said, you we go. do see three different smaller groupings over on time. I think GUD wants to win with strength, uh, take out one, and then push out the other two once they have the numbers. They do have numbers in the middle right now. But Wedge is up. Took down Moonray already. You see a uber pop by Group of Drunks. Group of Drunks does have an 8-3 to three man advantage. Sentry for uh, time is in the middle still, and Wedge behind it. Yeah, gun has gone down. That leaves Wedge up sniping. He is being effective. That's for sure. They are yeah, dedicating got, an entire demo <laughs> medic pair just to trying to suppress Wedge back there. Rest of the team getting on that point, trying to reverse the gap. Yeah, they're. Uh, I like this though. They're, they're forward. They're trying to give themselves room. Although now the heavy medics are a little overextended if they don't get to health. Yeah, they're forward capping that next point. They want to move. Oh, nice shot there. Wedge yeah, popping wedge up from that upper level. Yeah, you can peek through that garage pretty easily and get a lot of sight line, and it's hard to get to him. There is a spy in the area, but. You see Jesus Faction using the cover provided by the corrugated metal there to hide from the sniper long enough to make the capture. Good use of the cover that's available. Wedge still up in there, laying down serious fire. There are a number of guys up there. Let's see what they've got going on in the final cap. They're in trouble on the final cap here. Yeah, they are. The stickies uh, have been cleared off it. The medic enough, sacrificed for it. Let's see if the heavy Sigrid is able to get on there. He is. Let's see if he's he might walking. Be. Oh, oh, great work. A sticky does come in by Johnny Wu. Uh, they can't send one guy at a time, though. We do see on. coming from behind here. There's a very, very fast first cap. Only two minutes and 25 seconds into the round. Yeah, the soldier Sorry, snuck up 15. from the water. Excellent move Great by work. soldier and a couple others. Yeah. Yeah, the the that, that the secret not the secret, the secret is not that the uh, the water method uh, direction. The threat of that, if it's not taken seriously by the team, uh, sneak caps can happen very quickly with that fast cap time on the last. 
I believe most of the caps we have seen have the final actual capture has been from somebody who went through the water. Just oftentimes we don't think of defending our final control point backwards. It's usually yeah, not that's... where the threat's coming from. It is a difference, but you see, I, I like the, you see the team is doing something very smart, which is they send somebody in the front, and then when the team goes forward to stop him, then somebody sneaks in that back. Yep. And that's what it takes for that to work, because uh, it's a very dangerous spot. Time grabs the point. They really dominated the center that time around. This time they're at 7 to 4. We saw a Wedge in the interim there telling his team, don't stay back near me, push forward. Be aggressive. That's what Group of Drunks did to them. Time now, trying to return the favor. Yeah, Wedge, Wedge wants to be behind the team and then team battle off with a whole bunch of chaos in the middle. He's great at seeing through uh, a whole bunch of players right. fighting, which is hard for us. I'd say Ringled Mini Century already covering the god number four point, two point. 32x all over it. This is practically just a reversal of what we saw a moment ago. Oh, nice yes. shot by Johnny Wu. Takes out check on the medic. There's not a very big defense on the final point as of yet. Gonna be a respawn in a moment here. We'll see a couple of more god players coming out. By the time we're able to bring to bear its entire team on that point right now, they would uh, be all over it. They are sure just see somebody. Going, oh, that is defenders underneath. Ah, that is why we didn't see some of the defenders. They were actually guarding that water route, something we have not seen many people do. Like a very good idea, given the situation. Yeah, they need to watch it. The, uh, the cap time for a scout through water is perhaps four seconds. It's not, you can't let it go. You have to watch it and have somebody there to meet them if it happens. They, Wide open right now, so. Time with the sure trooper ready. They have a significant trooper advantage. Let's see if they move in with it. Wedge getting fragged along with Super Nazi simultaneously. That's the scout goes down and the sniper. That should be enough for GUD to take the point if they, if they can get it together here. Yeah, God is. Jump on point. There's a counter with an Uber. Johnny Wu coming in. Uber by Mateo. Laying down sticky. They've got cover overhead. Heavy's been, oh, Heavy's taken out with a nice work play, Zigfree, to take out one spoon, and God has taken back their number two. Yeah, they did. They, they regrouped enough to take two, although they're at a slight disadvantage now. Time may take this point. Not sure if they're... All right. The control point is being contested. Gonna get the bodies or not. Their players are under big time, big time fire there. <laughs> I mean, that was, that was like five rockets, stickies, pipes. A miracle they survived any length of time. This point, all the points on this map are just fascinating points. They're all very three-dimensional in terms of what you have to look for and defend against. Multiple levels uh, coming into play on every one of them. People approaching from every angle. It is very hard to predict what you're going to face when you're on one of these points. Yeah, that's why it's, that's why I was looking all forward right. to it. The control point is being contested. You see Blunt Spoon there and the uh, trying to cap in the protected area up there. Jesus faction takes down inner but gets taken down in Ooh, turn. Looks like Blunt and Wedge are on that number four point there. They're protected only by one demo, guarded only by one demo. Both points potentially in danger here, center and forward. I don't think uh, the god attackers realize that there is a uh, enemy combo behind them. They certainly don't know that's there. Oh! Yumoria pops the save himself. I believe that that was a defensive action. It may have been a standard offensive mover that fortuitously protected him. It happened a moment after his heavy went down. They did not realize that one was behind them. There are a few, thi fewer, yeah, a few things sweeter as a heavy than being point blank to an enemy medic who doesn't know you're there. <laughs> I think any class likes that, but as a heavy, it's so hard to get that close to people sometimes. It's got to be extra sweet. Absolutely, and... Not really sure... GUD's trying to group up here. Time to push through, but... God Uber has popped one of their Ubers. 
Two players are down. Now three. So right with Mini down on the pit door side. It has gone down. Goes down. He's, oh, God with a player advantage here. Only two players survive. One player surviving on time. God is all over the point, and they could move forward very significantly. Yeah. If they run and now, they could take four. I believe Ender had just spawned, so he will stay back. Yes, as a medic, he has yeah, he had no no build whatsoever. All his teammates were dead. He could not do anything to increase his uber charge. This is going to be a two point reversal. In just a moment. Well, there it is. God has taken. Okay, Moria has uber. You gotta watch out for Wedge though. He's gonna try to pick that medic and give his team a chance to breathe here. Does not make it though. They make it in. Let's see if they push it in. Here it comes. This is a full frontal assault on the point. There are defenders in the lower, including a now injured medic who's by himself. Going with the Ubersoft, building some Uber. Oh, he gets three hits in, charges to 100%. Nice work by Mateo, staying alive and building his Uber for free. Yeah, Wedge, Wedge was capping and forced a few players to come out to meet him. That's basically saving the final there since three or four players had to step in two. GOD's fully up though. They can have an opportunity to camp here. Mateo pops that if Uber on Johnny. Uber. I see Siegfried getting out. Don't have anybody to attack right now. It's Big five. sticky trap on the garage. I took a two. Scout harassing the medic back there. Oh, out. down goes check to the suit Nazi. Scout scatter down. Unforgiven's there at final looking for an opportunity, but I'm not sure when's going to come at the moment. Currently, water and river are empty, and we see there's 32. Sorry, there's time. Tapping back a little bit. And GUD wins that way, cleans them up, doesn't lose a player. That's important because now they are 9 versus 4 moving on to the final. Uber at 87. Yeah, you see, them, you see them calling out to push in. I'm not sure if they'll wait for that Uber or not. I think they're going to go water and see if they can uh, have it built by the time they get through. They do have it built. Mori just needs to stay just alive long enough to deploy this where they need it. There it is. Pops at perfect is. timing just ahead of Wedge's very yep. so big. Yep. trying to get on the point. And clear There's a counter clear. Uber. Inner yeah, has one. Okay. He's got They're big behind. inner advantage. Yep, God knows it. They just bail out of the area rather than get annihilated by the counter. Unforgiven still in secret there. Looking for an opportunity to cap out what he's seen. Gives 25 Uber to Mateo. Checkmate just about to have an Uber charge here. Check does have his Uber ready. He is paired with Jesus Faction at the moment. There are short players, though, so they're going to wait. Though. Yes. Ah, she's going to go up and over. Pop it in the oh. face of they run into three or four people up in the attic there. Brief disconnect between the two. Scout and Soldier on the point behind them. And the Wedge is gone Soldier now. He has indeed. Trying to bring the fight to the other side, perhaps. And there's an Uber by time coming out. That will give them enough, enough time to possibly to cap this point. Though, Damage gets in there and is doing a good job of the flamethrower keeping everybody off. It's a deep reset. Yeah. Ultimate quick switch weapon. Yeah, GOD has been kind of winning the uh, the basic combat. So, Wedge is thinking it wasn't as effective as he'd like it to be. He's gone to try to give his team a little more heft. The mini sentry peeking out the garage door we saw him sniping out of earlier. It's one more shot of it go down, but at the moment it's doing a good job. And there is a brief moment of capture going on the final. There's an Uber battle on the final. The defending Uber is lasting longer. Attackers are cleaned off. Yeah, GUD is going to need, uh, they've just happened them several times. They're pushing with the Uber and then not, either not enough follow-up or they need to, to try to force a little earlier so they don't. Soldier Wedge, back cap of the point. He's joined by Soup Nazi. They get point number two and are moving towards the center now for time. Yeah. No reason to wait. So this is a good opportunity to go to three. Oh, he GUD's runs into Alpha Panda. Out. Takes him down, but the Engineer then, uh -huh. Big Paul, gets a shotgun on Alpha Panda. Contested. And they move into center and they have a mini sentry up. Time goes. Mini gun goes down. Just under seven and a half minutes left in this first match. 
Yeah, almost 10 minutes gone in this camp, uh, round. It's back and forth, and that suits a uh, group of drunks just fine. They are currently up. They need to make sure they don't lose uh, the point. But if they could get another one, or if they can just keep on making this fight go back and forth, they'll be in a pretty yeah. good spot to win the first round. See Siegfried and uh, Yamori there, they have an Uber charge ready. Mateo has an Uber as well over on time, and Inner is only 5% of the way. You could be seeing three Ubers in very close combo, very close uh, order. Here comes one of them, both of them, both defending, all three of them are popped at once. Alert! The control point is being captured. Big, big battle there. Not a whole lot changed in terms of positioning after all of those Ubers went down, but it was sure interesting to watch. And Forgiven's looking for an opportunity to oh, there's come the in and sneak back to somebody. Right with check. Forced to bail out with heavy... Oh, Jesus does... And a Gizang. So let's see. Jesus gets... Uh, what screen Gizang gets checkmate? A lot of body parts here. We see Wedge's return to sniping. Probably believing the uh, able to attack the middle well. Let's see, there was a spy here. The red spy on four has moved into the backfield. Alert. Our control point is being captured. He's going to look for a medic backstab here, I think. It doesn't quite. Make a move on that gun instead. Gets the engineer and the gun. Actually, JF gets the gun officially, though he did have it sapped. So, nice little bit of dancing around back there. By him. We see an Uber push in from... That's Mateo with Johnny Wu-Tang. Alright. The control point is being captured. Check is the next closest Uber. He's at 100% after a nice Uber saw there against his rival Mateo. He's got an Uber ready. However, time is on the point with force. Yeah, they had to use a little early there because Check was taking all the damage. Yeah, oh, nice air blast saying, oh, damn it. He's distracted going after the medic. The heavy gets him. God just holds on to that point, but Wedge tearing them apart in the center. He is in big door, peeking out occasionally, and just crashing. Oh, there he goes down to a combined explosives with uh, three different players. And things are roughly where we've seen them all night. Not yeah. time, approximately just even, dueling around the center. A little less than four minutes to go, though. These stalemates are tilting the balance more and more towards GUD every minute that passes. Three minutes, 30 seconds left in this one. First in that first round, we did see a two minute and 15 second full cap that spawned to everything. But oh, this just doesn't seem like a round here where that's going to happen. Checkmate. Oh. Takes himself down, but gets their medic down. Worth it for that the medic kill. Right. Uh, that gives time a good opportunity to take the middle if they want to push the Mateo's at 100%. Inner's at 95%. They're going to have two Ubers against none. And Forgiven's going to look for that backstab, though. Doesn't go. But the Ubers are up before they get to the middle. Here comes the Uber. He's coming as they can be. One is off, the other is still on. There are only four players there on the center point for time. But the medics are pulling back to stay alive. They, move, they have the numbers. They can be on that point. They'll have this gap. There is the center for time. Two minutes and 34 yeah, seconds left. Judy's down to three up. They need to get out and get back to uh, their last to regroup here before okay. they get wiped. The control point and get this game tied up. Ooh, 
the Spire and he opted to count counter that. Not definitely going to be enough against the entire team as we saw there. God needs to dig in here. Brings up the interesting question somebody asked earlier. I do not know the answer to this. If the team's tied up, but nobody has taken possession of the center when time runs out, nobody will get that extra point, so we would see what situation. Don't give me nightmares like that. Yeah, it's I worth do that, is, that is an open space in the rules. We, it could happen if time falls a certain way. Likely to be a golden cap scenario in that case, I would imagine. But right now, Group of Guns holding on by the skin of their teeth to their final point. They need to hold for a minute 33 here. Really, there's Wedge shooting into final. He gets taken Young down by now. Young. Right now, God really needs to go get that next point if they can without sacrificing the defense on their final. Yeah, with with the cap time mostly gone, I, I can't imagine they would push too much until it gets a little safer. Given they could get snuck by a spy or a scout in Agreed. just a just second or two. One or two people, maybe maybe their own spy and a scout, going around the riverside to try and force a couple of the attackers to pull back and defend. They get the scout down, I think. Sentry gun. Uh, time's down to four up. This is where they could send out two or three people to see if they can cap There's middle. 45 seconds left. Ah, uh, but their, their medics and uh, power glasses are in the lobby still, making it hard to get through safely. Run for with a stab there. He's doing his best. Ah, there's a nice flank medic. by Siegfried and Checkmate. They flank in lobby, they push the battle uh, back at least to that front garage door with 30 seconds remaining. One gets remain. Checkmate, though. That kind of stifles their opportunity to get out. 30 seconds to go. Yeah, there's an Uber attacking final. It's with a scout on a heavy. Scout is on the point. There are no yeah, other defenders there. Me. There are no other defenders. Right. Time wins it. Here, two oh my players away from the point. And there is not and enough time for left, anybody to no take the middle. the middle. This is a toss-up on the round. So we see a 1-1. Right. One, one. So everybody hang tight for me for just a minute, and I'll be right back with you. Unforeseen circumstances. Plinko, you want to join me in another channel real quick? Yeah. The referee's going to have a quick chat about what is the fairest way to handle this. I would not be surprised if we see a golden cap for the center. That is uh, something that I believe exists for some of our other formats. But this being the finals, this can't be allowed to continue. These teams, as we said, so ridiculously evenly matched. Stick with us. The story gets better. Hit us, Flash. What's the news? All right, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, can everybody hear me? Okay, what we're going to do, since y'all put us in some situation we never anticipated or planned for, we're going to pretend that we had like a minute or two left on this map, but basically what we're going to do here is we're going to ready up, roll out, and whoever controls the middle first is going to win this first match. So I'm going to give you all a minute or two if you want to discuss some class changes or something based on that scenario. Because what's going to happen is... Yeah, that's fine. I'm going to give you all some time since we didn't anticipate this. But it's going to be like, basically we had a minute left in, in this match here and everybody's going to get to roll out again. But whoever takes this middle point first is going to win this first match. So take a minute or two here and, and discuss what you're going to do and then we'll do it. So it is a golden cap indeed. First person to go and grab that center, that's going to be the winner of the first round. Yeah, Plinko and I went and discussed it, and it, it seems like that's the most logical thing to do. Um, that's basically what would have happened if they had pulled that cap off about 30 seconds sooner. Exactly. And it is a rule that we've uh, seen and discussed for other formats and for other uses in the cup. It is certainly 
something that is perfectly precedented, just the manner in which that last second cap occurred and prevented it from being used properly. Not something that could have been readily planned for. So now the question will be, how do they plan for it? I think um, I would guess you'll see Wedge uh, stay on Sniper and see if he can pick the medics, give his team an opportunity. You might see a Kritzkrieg or a Quick Fix now. These teams ran all Ubers, but um, since there's no setup time, they may not get an opportunity to use them in the middle if they go to Uber charge because of the time. Other than that, I'm not sure we'll see anything drastically change. They'll just think real hard about being careful on this rollout, not to uh, overextend. Yep, and while we've seen the fight for the middle last for a couple minutes, something tells me everybody's going to be throwing themselves at it this time, and it's not too likely that it's going to drag on. Uh, <laughs> people might be playing this a little bit like we'd expect to see them play Sudden Death. As you were saying, staying alive or alternately going for the all-important medic picks to try and take down the other team just enough that you can overwhelm them into the mid. Yeah, I think you'll see you'll see people be careful about overextending and by getting out of position. They'll try to uh, stay with their teammates and not, you know, trickle out and have half their team dead all of a sudden because they were spread out. And uh, obviously no one will give up the point. Uh, you know, they lose too early, they won't say, well, we'll regroup and push back because they don't, aren't going to have that opportunity. Agreed. And what, uh, this would be an interesting thing because both of the, the tactics we've been seeing the teams use, both the large mass and the small flying squads, have their advantages and disadvantages in this. Obviously the uh, large mass can kind of direct more fire at any individual target, and so that's an advantage it has. However, the Small groups are not as susceptible to single crits coming in and wiping out everybody, so that's an advantage they've got. Really, really quite good. I think the teams have decided what they're going to do, and they're ready. Five, four, and there they're ready up. Two, All right, one. first team to take control of the center point will be credited the win for the first round after a phenomenal 1-1 one, one tie. Let's see if both hang back until their medics are ready, or what, what we see go on. There's a scout coming in, scouting around for time. On the point, forcing time. Forcing God to come in to counter it. And an inner did full of quick fix, but it's taken off quickly by Jesus action. That scout on the center point has got it almost 50% half, and it's not gone down yet. He's just dancing. Here comes the big push by God. Not oh, over losing yeah. a number of people. They have four surviving against yeah. eight now up over on time. time yeah, they stood a lot of people on the point and then got taken out by the demo. Oh, man. nice stab by Unfor, but he can't quite Bottom stay up. Though. So time gets the win in the first. All right, nice work, guys. I'm going to reload the map. When you come back in after the map reload, join the opposite color you're on now, and we're in our five minute halftime. Phew. Yeah. <laughs> so what we saw there, I think, was just one small error by G.O.D., which was pushing those bodies on the point with too many times up. They lost three or four players all of a sudden to the demo man who put stickies on the point where they were standing, and then uh, they were cleaned up. Was Otherwise, it, uh, it was really tight in the middle uh, up until that point. It was, it was a clever move by uh, Soup Nazi, getting out there as a scout, forcing God to counteract his presence by coming out into the open. Uh, 
he stayed alive for a very long time, moving back and forth. They sent more and more people out to try and eliminate the threat, and that made them vulnerable. Most of the time team, it looked like, stayed a little bit more undercover, uh, able to provide support without being quite as vulnerable. And we saw them come out on top. So that again, short brief little element of, uh, of the game, that is exactly how it would have gone if the clock hadn't just run out, so that was the normal tiebreak procedure, but just in a, f in a format we weren't quite expecting. But hey, anything can happen, and often does happen, here in the Ville Cup. Nobody expects things to go to the fourth and fifth tiebreaker either, but they do. <laughs> that happens, so... Happened last year, happened this year. We get some very evenly matched teams just going at each other, and uh, yeah, over the course of the event, things just even out. Yeah, we spent a lot of time before this event talking about ways to uh, avoid ties and how it would go down, and just never even considered that situation right there. But like you said, if if the match had had 30 seconds left, that would that's what would have happened. And ties just seem kind of like a a way of life sometimes <laughs> with get teams that are playing against each other but uh, you know you gotta have some way to break them we we tried having ties for the last couple of years the overall opinion was people didn't like them uh, they wanted a different manner of tie breaking than was used in the past however it used to be just scoreboard points and so each map type was given its own type of tie breaker a golden cap a first cap things of that nature uh, in order to make sure that uh, <laughs> that we could not have ties. Um, the overall cup, as a result, has not actually been all that different in terms of results than we've seen in previous years. You know, the same number of teams finals eligible in the final week this year as last year. Uh, almost as many shutouts this year as last year. The overall split in team records, just about the same this year as uh, previous year where we weren't running with ties, so last time it was comparable. But I think people are a lot less frustrated when there aren't ties. Things are a lot more cut and dry. People understand them a bit better uh, when there aren't ties. And uh, that's good. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a big fan of no ties. Or of, uh, of clearly uh, obvious ways that ties are broken. Yeah. That are in their hands, basically, of how they play at the time. Yeah. What we got coming up next, obviously, this is round two of a best of three. Time won the first on that brief little tie break we just saw there. So a group of junks needs to win this match here. If, in fact, they want to force it to a third and get the gold medal. If time wins this match, time will have won two in a row, and that's all it takes. So uh, that would be a gold medal for them. And, of course, the little spinny trophy. That's really the best part. That's what this is all about. Exactly. It's all about getting the avatar. We saw God almost look like they dominated that last match for the first 17 minutes or so of it. Especially the beginning. They rolled right through it. After that, they were never really threatened. But in the last couple minutes, time said, no, it's our turn. And they moved through very quickly, very effectively. There was a, a long fight on final, but uh, time just wouldn't give up. God eventually got a little bit separated, probably trying to, to get back out towards that number two point. And, uh, yeah, time just was able to walk in there and put down the type of fire they needed to take the point. Yeah, certainly uh, the way the first match went, you got to believe it's uh, something that can go either way now, being as tight as it was. Yeah, I was uh, a little a little concerned, thinking it might be kind of God running the show first. But yeah, time came out there and said, no, no, no. We got to the finals because we're really darn good, and we're going to demonstrate. So yeah, both teams have now proven that they can really roll over the other when they get things working correctly. Five, and four, both teams have three, readied, and we are underway. Two, one. 
These teams both being very prompt, uh, right on top of things, ready to fight. That's what we like to see. Getting out there on that center point quickly like he did in the tie break there. He did get blown up that time. A little more expeditiously than we saw a moment ago. Spy is sapping. Of course, God is now on blue and time is on red. Everything's reversed. God is now yeah. on the point and trying to get that. Yeah, G.O.D. Uh, won that uh, middle pretty nicely. Danitz had a fantastic move there where he came up with the knee, that little narrow uh, bend. Just as the heavy did. The heavy was about to take about three pieces of explosives to hit him in the face, but the damage ran up and reflected it all. So they ran through clean. One of the most important things you can do as a pyro, keeping explosives from taking out your teammates. Obviously, spy checking another important part of it when there are spies in the game, but deflect has become more important than damage for many pyros. Yeah, it's true, uh, especially in the, uh, the higher level, uh, I'm sorry, the higher number of players. It's hard to be a pyro where you just flame. There's too much going on, too much damage to take now. And so many classes are now able to put out fires or are completely fireproof that it's I, almost pointless to, to go out and have to Let's not even talk about that. I still get upset. I uh, uh, as we are. <laughs> the, uh, the rank of the wall lost a lot of players at the time has pushed back here. Oh, They're threatening on the center day. point. Yeah. One screen and I believe you are there. That is me. And now time dominating the center, only two god players up. Time has been added. The center control has switched. Now we see Wedge has changed sniper rifles. Using a heat maker uh -huh. very effectively. Our control that point is being captured. And time all over the number four point now as well. God has been pushed backwards quickly. Only two and a half minutes in. You see God is in the lobby, pushing towards God final. No defense on God final. I'm not sure what... There they come to it. Yeah, that was improv defense. A scout ran in, soup Nazi, almost by himself took that. Waltzed through the attackers, or through the defenders, rather. Yeah, time has kind of moved back here and just regrouping on the second point. Well, pushing a couple players uh, down low to defend against the time attackers in the river. Uh, they do take down two time players. I don't think that's going to be quite enough for them. Soup gonna try and go down underneath here. Oh, Soup hiding. hiding. Soup hiding up above the river water entrance, perhaps hiding, hoping everybody on the defense will lose track of him. He'll be able to he, move in. He probably wants to sneak in. Absolutely, that's a phenomenal hiding spot. I have never seen that before. Waiting for the Gotham's team, or perhaps an opportunity if Umaria here or Czech turns their back, will hop down and meet shot the man. God, just swarming their final right now. They don't want to see what happened last time happen again. I think actually what Soup's waiting for is uh, he's waiting for his the possibility that his team uh, almost wipes and then uh, GD pushes out doesn't become a point. He can sneak in and cap and they're not watching it. Oh, Johnny Wu plus Mateo with a massive crit sticky there right in front of the camera. Everybody died. Soup has moved on. Yeah, he tried down to go up around the back there. Damn it, Tommy. Oh, Uber Pancake's on the point. Not Nothing but a spy point. defending. That's Time is all it. over this. Time with the first cap in just over four and a half minutes. Uber Drunk Snell is under the gun. They need to come out here and take the next one. I'll be honest, I'd like to see G.O.D. win this one so we can go to a third match. <laughs> <laughs> well, it would be up to par considering how similarly these teams have played all along. Moon 
Demon Rays looking for somebody to whip. They're whipping themselves. They're going to choke. QD is a big group. They run into a sentry and a uh, and blunt spoon. Shifty work by Unfor there to stay alive, but blunt spoon not fooled. And lays down a wall with his minigun. We do see God now capping the point back. However, they're taking some long range minigun fire as well as being pinned by yeah, they, the sentry. They were pinched. A change here. Uh, time has done a great job now, um, kind of surrounding and uh, isolating uh, some GOD players. It's made a big difference in the game. We saw it happen at uh, that overtime. Time gets. It has happened center. both times here in the second round. I don't know if it's GODs just getting out of position, or if uh, Time's made a dramatic change in how they're approaching things. It seems to me like time is uh, showing up with other players in one place, even going different routes. They're coordinating their arrivals better, so it's more of an everybody versus everybody instead of a couple players versus everybody. There we see another capture of four by time. No he's down to a sneaks in. Is on that point, but he's against two players right now. Young trying to get the. He goes down out there to the NG shotgun. Judy needs to make sure they are watching this point. They do not have any. Yeah, they, are, they are not. Well, there's Soup Nazi doing what Soup Nazi does. He gets about two thirds of it. I'm not sure if they're quite ready to capitalize, though. A lot of them are up in the uh, upper area, head to the river. Time biting this time. They've got one Uber fully ready. It is off. Oh, there's a counter Uber by God up in the top. It's against a crit yeah. screen. Uber will win against the crits. There are some crit stickies still floating around up there. They go on gun off. The little gun is knocked off of the point. There's a good counter by God in the upper. They don't have the yeah. four yet, though. Right. <laughs> Didn't have any players in position to uh, push out and camp. It was basically a defensive uber that got a lot of kills, not so much uh, attacking uber to get the point back. And you're seeing Wedge on Sniper here, or uh, Sniper on Scout, looking for an opportunity to get in. Soup's demonstrated that being a scout here is very effective if you can get in there, so if two scouts got in, that point would be capped in a heartbeat. Of course they are, God is watching it a little more closely now. Yeah, they've got that heavy uh, combo up in the uh, river area, trying to make sure nobody sneaks past. Time not using a uh, spy. One Spoon tried to run in there uh, and take it all himself, but the crits off those uh, those gloves took him down. Always a trade-off, and we do see God and now all over their two-point. They should probably get this back here. Definitely in position. Yes. Yeah, and and the numbers to at least threaten three. Yeah, we see Umoria working up 75. He's three quarters on Uber, closest on the rivals, 50. Here comes that entire god team. Big squad of them getting all over center. There are counter caps going on. Let's see who can stay on the point. And this is going to go to very uh, close to group of drunks. But they've got to they've got to watch their backs now though, because a bunch of players are going to come behind them. Absolutely, yeah. that's a scout and a dead. Wedge. There's Wedge, Wedge scouts down checkmate. checkmate. There's the demo gazank gets on the point himself from behind. Yeah, Unforgiven managed to stab uh, one of the medics on time, but but time still has a big numbers advantage. Yeah, so Scott, they should four be able to get this back. Up. They're going to lose that center. Time with the mid cap. This time, God is in position defending on their number two, so that arena will not be able to show. Coming up on the 10 minute mark here. One spoon and wedge are down, and now Uber uh, pancakes, so QD might look good. Advantage push QD. They do have Uber advantages as well. Ooh, gives with a nice close range sticky on damage. Damn it. Frustrated he wasn't able to get the axe on there. Time though still holding the center. Alright. The 
control point has been contested. Here comes the Uber Heavy, Siegfried. Alright, our control point has been captured. Not many kills though for GOD there, though they, they get the position. Alert. The control yeah, point is being captured. Yeah, suggesting the time did a good job of strategically pulling back. Oh, or flanking around forward. We see two people now, this is Now this is dangerous. Or a scout. That soup by himself in the backfield. He's going to go straight for final if he can. Yeah, he is, and I'm not sure... If there are any defenders back there. God there is definitely down. A it's a medic, right. and they're okay. There they Our are. They're control point is being forced to pull back, but that was a dangerous moment there with the group of drugs. And soup Nazi being pro once again. Right. He's on the point. The control point is being captured. Yep. And he solo caps it with three people in the room shooting at him. Never That's leave the point. About. Wow. Great work by the soup Nazi there. Holy cow. Yep. You see, he waited until uh, JOD sent a bunch of players off the point and away, and he just walked right up. Yeah, he attempted to jump back up return. into those pipes where he was hiding before. He missed the jump. He said, heck with it, I'll go to the point. And uh, so he took the point instead. Eight minutes left. Group of drunks under the gun now. They need two caps to make this go to a third. That's a tough situation, let's say. Yeah, we've absolutely seen them cap in, in two minutes. <laughs> All yeah. the way through. <laughs> so yeah, they they can't, but they've they got to play a little differently than they have been. Yeah, they need to do that, though. I like what they're doing here, though. They, um, they're they capping, they pushed him back. Reaper Junks dominates the center. Readily takes it, moving on en masse. Damn it. Yeah, it did lose one of their medics, whereas time did not, however, so that will be to captured. time's advantage if this comes down to a sudden fight at the end. Correct. Uh, time's getting close the to their uh, charges here. God Although rapidly takes the four enter. and moves in with the whole group. Checkmate is at 88%. He is with Siegfried going into the river to see if they're able to hold this and deploy it on point. Yep, they pop, they pop it against another Uber. They have a very slight advantage on the timing. Please turn around and not get sticky trap there. Great jump. Oh, Siegfried takes him down. Checkmate gets fragged off the back. Zig is still alive in the basement. He gets blown up by the lock and load from Gazankt. Yeah, unfortunately, he played about as best as he could in that situation, but the heavy's just in a bad spot there in that area. Yeah, once the enemy team was up and knew he was there, it wasn't much he could do, but... Dangerous push by the group of drunks. Definitely going to uh, prove they are still in this. They still got some fight. They want to make a go at it. Well, Inner's going to have his charge long before either one's up for G.O.D. I would guess we'll see him push one spoon somewhere soon. Although, they're on the point. That's a, some spy work there. You see the statue of the defender remaining. Yeah. And for liking that spicy goal, even with no pyro. See uh, some explosive classes down low. Trying to fight a point. There's an Uber coming back to counter at them. They get fragged in a tight corner. Here's another Uber on the point. JF with Umoria. Slightly too far separated apart for that push to have worked. It was the right idea getting all those people in there. They need to be a little bit more together, and they might have been able to pull that. Oh, nice work there by Young before going down to Johnny Wu. He gets the med. He is now trying to take back their four. He's only gets a medic checkmate, and he gets some assistance with his explosives. Uh, we're down to five and a half minutes. The yeah, Judy's used up about three. Obviously, you don't want to push so hard and lose it that you uh, give your second back, but they'll only have about, if they can't this, they won't have a lot of time to get a second one, so. True that. They do need to push hard fast. They have two Ubers approaching 70%. One Uber at 70 on the other side. I believe we'll see them try to get them both up and move in. 
but they are playing no point to trickling medics him. defensive. One's ready, the other one. is ready. So I'm guessing here goes the first. Just a matter of seconds here. Heavy no in. Oh, he's getting air blasted. Wedge on pyro. Uh oh, I wedge on pyro. Him, where is there's over. where's the second defensive one? I thought, what happened to the other Uber? Oh, it's active now. Going up the center with their own pyro. Now they are on the point. Separated down there, players, severely though. down on numbers. Nice work by the pyro though. Yeah, gave him a chance. He's Doing those up. air blasts. You can you can cap a point just by air blasting defenders That's away from it. it. There That's you do it. Yeah. Oh wow! Give Four that. minutes and seven seconds left. We know it's possible, folks. We know it's possible. We do. And if GOD wins this, I'm gonna give that to Dan. That's the whole thing <laughs> based on that performance on that point. That right there was how you pyro, air blast, air blast, air blast when defenders try to get in there. You know, he kept them off the point or, or kept them neutralized for just about 30 seconds longer than I would have guessed was possible. Yeah, absolutely, especially with a class that dies as easily as Pyro does. That was classic performance. Now, three and a half minutes to go here. First gap we saw the night was two minutes, 15 seconds. We've seen a couple that were a little bit like that, uh, moving from a center point position to power. Who knows what will happen here. Uh, but Siegfried got picked right away with that great hitch on by Wedge. GUD's gotten cleaned up by time here. And uh, I think, time I think we're going to see time. Yeah, they're not going to get overly aggressive here. They don't want to, um, I think they don't want to get rolled. So knowing that they just need to hold out for three minutes to win and win the cup. So they can smell it, I think. They know they know how to get it. They're going to go the for it. Most dangerous and most heart-pounding moment for a oh. player. When you can sense victory, but you have to make sure you keep playing as hard as you can because it can be snatched away by the skill of the opposition here. Absolutely. Uber charge on the point. Point has not been capped yet. Time oh, but GOD's only two up. Time is on it. Time gonna is going to take that point. And two and a, two less and than two and a half minutes to go. Unforgiven just dropped. Disconnected out. That hurts for God right there. That hurts. Get down the man to see if they have somebody else able to jump in to help out. Well, looks like Unforgiven crash out. He's not on the line. So they're going to oh, and time scramble to get a replacement. The they are already moving in towards the final. Oh. They make him think twice about it, though. Run for rejoin. Our control point. There he is. Shit. The time just playing the stay alive game here. A minute and 30 seconds. They possess four points. They don't need to push. They just need to. Right. They just need but they're going to push anyway. Oh my goodness. I don't I believe, believe that was that was Soup that was, Nazi who Soup stayed Nazi. alive until just now. Yeah, he snuck out. Time is attacking. They're going for it with a minute left. Prove their point. They want to be no. the champions. And now with a minute left, I don't know that uh, I don't know Probably that GD can push point. through. Yeah. If that is the case, well, we do see G.O.D. now on a point, making their attempt at a push. If time holds on to win, it will be the third consecutive year that a four-letter acronym team will win the cup. Last year, we saw the supernumeraries, S-N-E-S, -E and the year before that, we saw their hero, Heroic Expendable Reinforcement Options. If Team Innards Meet Explosion takes it, it will be the start of a trend. Yeah, and they, they're going to now. 30 seconds. Absolutely. Yeah, time has time. this in the bag. Wow, this has just been a great performance by Time here in the face of the adversity at the first right. match. The control point is right. Going down. The control point is and now fighting back hard. Taking it all the way through. Five seconds left. This year, 2013 yeah, Cup out. Champions. Team Innards meet explosion. Great matches, everybody. Great Captains matches. By Inner.
Congratulations to both of y'all's teams. You both did amazing. That's, That's it. Time is the Bill Cup 2013 champions. What a match. We hope what a match, guys. We hope to see you all back next yep. year. Even the Very exciting. teams, fantastic play all around. Let's see if we are able to get our hands on Inner. Or rather, let's see, if are they in their channel? I sent him a tell, so I, I'm assuming he's expecting to be called in, so... He's, he's, uh, Inner says he's going to come in, so... Alright. Oh, can we join? Party on mid. Everybody Whoa. on. Can I join the server? Woo! Can we join? Can we Good join? Good job, guys. Yeah, come in. Everyone, party on mid. <laughs> all right, we're coming in. So, Team Innards meet Explosion, all of you. You are the 2013 Vil Cup champions. How does it feel? Let's go to Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> Great work, all of you, in the face of adversity after getting pushed back at the beginning of the first round, turning around, fighting for 17 minutes to get that last second cap and winning the tie break. That was awesome! What, Great job, guys. What was the secret to that? You came out and you just would not give up. The secret was we prayed Gaiden every single round. We did. There may have been sacrifices made. <laughs> and promises about Chick first Chick born. Chickens died. Chickens, no goats, we hope, right? <laughs> no goats. Well, holy cow. The goats are for later. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the after party. <laughs> <laughs> so all you guys, you will be getting a little spinny cup avatar. Spinny! Yes! Woo. Of course, you gotta give him a little bit of time. Usually it's Dog that makes that. I believe he's on, uh, might just be back from vacation, or might still be on vacation, but you'll be getting it shortly. Please, uh, eight to twelve weeks for delivery. <laughs> yes. Team Inner Meat Explosion, as I was just pointing out at the end of the last round, you are now the third consecutive Vil Cup champion to use a four-letter acronym as your team name. Makes sense. I, I think that that was the secret of your power all along. Inner had researched that, and he immediately knew to go with the four-letter acronym. So, so H E R O and S O L S. There you go. So, uh, any of you guys want to give any shout-outs while you're live on the air? Um, I would just like to shout out to God for being an awesome opponent. It was really hard to thought. Um, beyond that, 32X and A really pushed us in scrims and made us better, so thank you to them. Um, of course, shout outs to HL3 and T5. Um, we had some good games against them, they played well, so um, everyone was really a hard opponent. So thank you guys for making us a little bit better. And my brother flying Dutchman. That's some, uh, some very sportsmanlike words, fire. just what we love to see you know, here. I like the politically correct comment of the year. I mean, holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true. And final shout out to our wonderful casters for recording this so that we can forever gloat on the internet. <laughs> thank you, Sue. You, you will find say... that your name was called a great deal today, Mr. Nazi. Oh, thank yeah. you. Th this was the best prepared team I've ever played on. Uh, by far in terms of strategy and tactics and Mateo and Johnny and the rest of them put together just uh, an awesome setup each match we were better prepared than I've ever been for any match ever it was those guys who set it up and that's saying something you've been on a lot of teams Bunt Spoon uh, how many is this now wow it's my third win a third win, so you, oh, you have now t you've now <laughs> tied Sultan as uh, one of our winningest Vil Cup players don't say that, he might play in the next one. I was, say, <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, Soul might uh, feel the need to come out of exile, but I know you like teaming up with him, so I doubt that will hurt your feelings. I was gonna say, as long as he's on my team. <laughs> Alrighty, well, this I, has I been was... a pretty busy few days for Inner. Yeah. He, uh, he won Player of the Month, he had his wedding anniversary, and Thank now you, he's Inner. a real Happy anniversary, Inner! Woo. Happy and anniversary! Congratulations Yay. to Inner on all three counts. And I uh, was seeing some requests to uh, load up Koth Saw. On here to let everybody mess around. You guys are the winning team. Would you be okay with that? Absolutely. Do it. Oh, yeah, yeah. Do it. Do the it. Map is hilarious. Yeah, do it. Do it. Do All right. It. Let me see what I can do here. Are we still? I'm so just gonna stay alive forever. Talking about our wonderful exploits. Do it live. Do it live. We're doing it live. 
Saw to say, loading up. Doing it Everybody who's in Twitch TV, if you want to join for Saw, come on down. I'm going to end the broadcast here. I wish you all good night, and congratulations once again to Time, our 2013 10th anniversary Ville Cup champions. Oh, that sounds good to hear. Yeah! That sounds good to hear. Go team! Spinny thing. Spinny! Spinny, Spinny things! Spinny things! Spinny things! Spinny things that bleed!